Hello, everybody. My name is Kez, and this is Donald Trump's Real Estate Tycoon. This game was released in 2002, in between the billionaire mogul's run for president in the Reform Party primary of 2000 and his launching of The Apprentice in 2004. It's a business simulator published by Activision. This is an officially licensed game that Trump lent his voice to. You'll see here that there's a tutorial, five missions, and a battle mode. Uh, when you first get the game, none of the missions are actually unlocked. I've already done that because I've played this game. So you see that the default name of the player is Ruthless Rick and the default company name is Greed Incorporated. Uh, because there are actually NPCs in this game that will reference Rick by name, I'm going to leave that uh, the way it is. But I'll change the company name because it doesn't actually make any difference. It doesn't make any difference when you name your company or what logo you choose. You see the logos here, the default logos are uh, Arton, Atlas, Fori, M-U-R, which apparently stands for my energy, my UG something, Pepe, Quanet, Wami, and Xenon. Since it doesn't make any difference what company logo you choose, I'll just pick one at random. Let's go with Pepe. There we go, there's Pepe as our company name. Let's get started. Welcome to Donald Trump's Real Estate Tycoon. Have you got what it takes to buy, build, and sell better than the best developer on the planet? Now construct new buildings in each of five cities. It doesn't matter which type you build or where you build them. The mission is won once you have at least one completed building in each city. There is a time limit of 24 months, so don't waste time. Alright, you heard the man. But I'm going to waste time first. Let's zoom this one out. I'll show you what the cities look like. This is Los Angeles. Yeah, I'll give you a whole view of the whole city. Yeah, these levels aren't, like, particularly big. They're not meant to represent the entire cities. Basically, you just get a section. You'll see there's empty lots represented by the blue spaces in the upper right on that little map. And then, yeah, you see basically a lot of buildings are just in the same uh, six or seven uh, templates. And that's like that for every city, but you see, like, uh, little bits of flair here and there make each city unique. And each city has its own music, its own musical style and sound. So that was Los Angeles. Here's New York. You have like a uh, sports stadiums. I assume that's where the New York Cosmos play. So that's New York. Let's go to Atlantic City. This has probably the most unique buildings in the game. You see the Globe Casino here, you see a building that just says Daddy's on it. Milo Yiannopoulos' is favorite building in the game. And you see a lot of the same buildings that you see in the other places. And here's London. And 
Insignia, you see mostly the same things. You can see the same bars that you see in the U.S. cities, same soccer stadiums, football stadiums, whatever you want to call them. Not an extremely detailed thing, but like I said, there's some bits of flair. You see Big Ben in the foreground there. This is Paris. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's there's differences. There's slight differences in each place, but the buildings largely will look the same. Here you see the Eiffel Tower just sitting there chilling in the middle of the whole thing. I would pay top dollar for a view of the tower. And like that lady just suggested, it's prime real estate near the tower. And there's the center of the city, and there you go. And those are the five cities in the game. So a month has already passed, and if I remember right, time passes in this game at a rate of about a month every four minutes. So when he gives you 24 months to complete this mission, that gives you basically an hour and a half. But even the first time you play it, it should not take you anywhere near that much time to figure everything out. It's just one building in every place. So you just click on one of these blue dots to buy a piece of land. As you can see here, you have this wheel that could, where you could go either way low or way high on the asking price. Let's just go with this one a little bit lower than the asking price and see if they accept. And they do. They usually do. So you have all these different styles of buildings to choose from, which affects the, pr the cost of the building a little bit, not severely. Quality of the same wheel. Lower quality will be cheaper to make, but harder to sell. Higher quality, of course, means it costs more to make, but you stand to make more money in returning. It's definitely going to be easier to sell it. For time to build, you can either build it quickly and pay more, or pay less, but it won't get completed for quite a while. Since I'm not in a hurry right now, I will save the money and just let them take their time in building it. and move to New York. So here we are again, trying to offer just a little bit below market value. And it works. And then you just basically do more of the same. There's a lot of repetition in this game. You'll be hitting a lot of the same beats. And it's up to you what style you want and whether you want to go broke on quality. For this one, let's just keep the shop's office the same. There's something about gridlock. I just can't get enough of it. Near the park is prime real estate. So you see them at 790 here. Let's low, let's really lowball them. And you see they got pissed off and they jacked up the price on you. So it went from 790 to 950. So yeah, they don't like it when you really try to lowball them. Okay, there you heard one of the NPCs just randomly say, "Hey, Rick." Find yourself waiting a lot, and that's when you can just kind of go around, and just click on the NPCs, and hear the random shit they say. Do you like my new nose?
Okay, so when you finish a building, you have the option to either sell the floors or the rent the floors. Selling them gets you a lot of money right up front. So when you're doing these missions where you have a time limit, that's your best way to go. Just get the money right away. Uh, but when you do the rent, which is better for the main part of the game, you have uh, you know the monthly rent and then you have duration. If you raise the duration, the people are willing to pay more. So pretty much whenever you do rent, you might as well do the full five year duration because it gets you the most money. There is no real advantage to doing the shorter durations. As you see here, uh, shops will get you more money than offices. And condos will get, also get you more money than offices, but not as much as uh, shops. And that's the uh, basic part with both the selling and the renting part. For the purposes of this mission, you'll want to do the selling. Because the selling gets you all the money up front, and you get the cash on hand that you need to complete this mission quickly. See, uh, okay, so the office is closed for another hour, but then uh, here you go. And then we'll do the same thing with this building sell off the three floors. Yeah, so in this particular spot, apparently, offices weren't as uh, in high demand, which you'll see that a bit. I haven't figured out yet exactly how you can tell. Uh, which spots are better for condos versus shops versus offices, but it is a thing that happens. Probably the only detail of the game that I really haven't quite figured out yet is how you can tell which spots are better for which floors. Alright, so for this one, let's go with a high quality build. Let's see if we can get a lot of floors in this one. Let's, let's build a, a tall building. Uh, but you see, we're running out of money, so I'm gonna have to so I can't do a 12 floor building like I wanted, but I can still do a 10 floor building. So let's do that. I only have $200,000 now, so when you need to raise money fast, you go over here and you see that there's an option to take out a loan. You have four banks to choose from. CC, Bank, uh, I think that says Lompar Bank, K and & Sons, and X Bank. They all have different interest rates. For now, let's go to the bank with the lowest interest rate, which is X Bank, as soon as the office opens again in an hour. Let's get a small loan of a million dollars and start buying up properties. And the other things you see over here, you see your balance, which shows how much you just saw the uh, rent income go up because the month just passed into April. So all the floors that we rented out just made money. Then here's the revenue you generate. The expenses. You can see how much money you're making, how much money you're losing. Uh, this on the bottom there's annual balance versus total balance. That won't matter here, we won't get to the second year. And then the other options you have here. So you have the statistics here, which are the categories that are kept track of are number of buildings, value buildings, assets, and reputation, which can go up and down. Okay, so you see that there that Trump is on there, but he's not in this mission. You don't have to face him in this mission. That's for the battle. And then here you see the score, which uh, shows all the categories and what your points are for there for each category. And then here's the high score, which is me apparently. All right, now let's go back to the plot of land that we were buying. And let's go back to the building that is now just about complete. And this one's in Atlantic City. All right, so let's just... All right, so now that this building's done, we have a lot of offices to sell off, and this will get us a good amount of money back. Near the park is Prime Real Estate. Ooh. 
Ooh, Donald Trump is so cute. Wow, okay, that lady really wants the Donald. Wow. Let me see, the shops will bring in a lot of money for you. This will probably be enough for us to finish the mission. We're almost at three million again. Alright, let's just take a cheap piece of land. Time to build. The quality doesn't matter at this point, I'm just building the building. I'm not caring about selling the floors at this point. I will offer you 50 pounds, and that is my final offer. It's a pretty shitty offer. Not for this one, same deal. Let's just get it done. Okay, so that's gonna take about eight hours. And the one in Paris, well, also complete in eight hours. So basically, at this point, we can just wait for these two buildings to finish, and then the mission will be complete. We'll have one building in each city. It's still only April 2002. It is very romantic here. And there you go, the mission is completed. Game congratulates us. And that's the end of the first mission. There are four more to go, and then, of course, the main part of the game, which is the battle stage against Trump himself. If you want to see the rest of the game, stick around this channel. I'll be uploading the rest of the missions uh, this week and the battle, and I hope to see you there. Ooh, Donald Trump is so cute. Ooh, Donald Trump is so cute. Ooh, Donald Trump is so cute.